In this video, I'm going to show you two ways how to do a slow zoom in Final Cut Pro X. You start at the beginning of the timeline, put the playhead there, and then go to your transform and simply click the keyframe for position, click the keyframe for scale, and you see they all light up, okay? Now we drag the playhead to near the end, like this. We adjust our, our zoom or position a little bit. So I want to zoom into this uh, with this white bolt. So we're just making some adjustments there. And, and you notice the keyframes are done automatically. So once we go to the start of the clip and play it, we've got a very slow zoom, which is going to end at the point. I just put a second keyframe in. So that's a very nice, simple way of slow zoom. The second way is using Kim Burns drop down, crop tool, Okay, this can be a bit fiddly, a bit complicated, but you can have a play around with it. And I'll give you an example of a, a very subtle slow zoom. We've got the green and the red. The red is where it's ending, the green is where it's starting. We can flip it by pressing this, so it starts there, it zooms in there. This more suits what we're trying to do here. First of all, we're going to cut this so it's shorter, so that we kind of get the effect in a better way. You've got the green, you've got the red, red cross there. Just put them very close together like this and you get a preview you can get a preview there it's zooming in very very subtly but just so you want it you want it more of a zoom in go into an anchor point so what we do we drag this so it's going to end move this around like this and i think now we'll see the difference I'll just play around with this because it is kind of fiddly and you can see now we've got a very nice smooth zoom moving pan it's worth experimenting with both if you've got a still, still shot, just to add a bit of movement in your shots rather than keeping them still. To reset the Ken Burns, uh, you go to crop here and then just press reset perimeter and you're back to square one. So that, my friends, so you do slow zoom with two methods in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and peace.